Namaste, salutations, salam alaikum. Salutations and greetings to each and every one of you. Today we have a company here with us is Jen. Well, this video I wanted to ex basically express my Within the content of this video in particular, I wanted to express my perspective and my thoughts upon my third official week. In between second and third, I'm not quite sure which one of it is, however, of working at, as you see here, Spencer's Gifts. So, at first I was honest God, with this being said, this is more of an occupation and a career path for myself personally. At first it was the very first day. It was very nerve-wracking to be honest. I had no idea of the expectations. I had no absolute zero idea of what was to be discovered or expected or what should have transpired or developed. However, on the contrary, it actually had proven to be very much a positive experience. And ever since day one, it has been nothing more than a positive experience, to be honest. And today will have been my official venturing on to my third week of working there. And I had the opportunity, given the honor, to meeting variations of many different aspects of people from all cultures of life, derived from all backgrounds of life equally. And ultimately, it has been a very positive adventure. This journey of life is still ongoing. It's a continuation. It's a constant, perpetual balance, a cycle of serenity that seems to have upholded itself. And I love, I love it today. I love this occupation and career. It is the absolute greatest career to have, to be honest. And this is derived from my own personal perspective. I'm not being paid to say this. I'm not placing a veil in between deceptions and the truth. Ultimately, I often at times believe that I am much too honest. Yes. Although it's honest, I am sincere and truthful in everything that I speak of, ultimately. So, with this being said, I had the opportunity to discover, to manifest, and develop this balance of life, and ultimately to learn new principles and things in each waking day that, had I ultimately worked there as a sales associate, Meeting people, folding up t-shirts, uh, doing the recovery program all throughout the store, and it has been a positive experience. Everyone is a universal collective together, and we bind together as under one equality through diversity, under one principle. And th this is the morality of my philosophy. This is my beliefs in the core structures and fundamentals and foundations and architectures of granted already preconceived what has already been born before I even had begun my journey of development of my career while here at Spencer. <laughs> With this being said, everything the, that they incorporate their philosophy is adapted towards my philosophy as well of my understanding and belief, my core structures of values, the integrity of my passion fire it burns and it's alive and breathing so while working there it has been you know the, as far as our co-workers a relationship shared between the co-workers and the co-workers between one another as well as the co-workers along with the actual clients now we don't consider them as customers we consider them as guests our motto for Spencer's is life's a party and we're making it fun and with this being said, that everyone shares a universal bond, a relationship that is mutual, and there are no divisions between one another. Everyone works together as a, as a team, you know, and it's all about the team effort and leadership, and uh, more or less like a wolf pack. So my, my native spirit being of a wolf, 
I've always believed under that umbrella of being unified and to unite together in order to ground, find our balance of our grounding of our leadership towards a common goal to, to have achieved over and above our obstacles, above our challenges in life of human existence and correlation. And it's a positive correlation that continues to burn alive inside of this fire of the sun. And, and as we progress towards the future, as always, we need to focus our eyes and our attention and our devotion of our energy towards the greater men of the future itself and not focus upon a past or upon negative energies. And myself personally, I always tend to promote positive energies and everything that both Jen, including myself, that we do. And it's a passion that is alive and breathing. And not just alive, but it manifests in a core, in a centerfold within ourselves. It's an internal circle of a fire that inspires ourselves to become, in each day, to become greater. And I, I believe I, I'm working towards management at one point or another. And even if I do become successful, famous, rich, or what have you, I'm still going to work with Spencer ultimately. And this is this has been a, a positive vibration. It's, this has been a positive experience so far. Everything has been perfect, and there are no expectations that is held upon you, with exception to being honest, to work hard, and to actually connect with the customers through the ACT program, which is the uh, approach, connect, and thank you. So I'm here today, I'm basically waiting for my shift to begin, which begins here in a little less than in an hour. And each day I, I'm so very ecstatic to be here, to be a part of the crew in itself, to, this confined circle of its teamwork together, considering of how each day is a new unfolding, a chapter of life that avails itself to prosperity, a blossoming of a new life, a new chapter that follows with it, entails, uh, incorporates, encompasses a new direction as you walk towards the compass of the earth in itself, you know, the center that is aligned and balanced. The, you know, as you push against the inertia in each day of your life, everything you do, that's how you should perceive life, your outwards as well as inwards, internal perceptions of how to manifest the positive energies and reverse that negative energy into positivity, to the positive influence, and how we are able to together grow, manifest, and develop our mortality, our imperfections, and perfect those imperfections into something greater than ourselves. Although some people might argue the perspective of how Spencer's might be minimum wage, well, I have a desire, I have a passion of being here, of working here at this particular occupation, of this career. And this is like one of the greatest places to work. And there's no dress code. I'm allowed to embrace my individualism and express myself for who I am. I am a shaman practitioner, spiritualist, medicine man, spiritual healer, spiritual cleanser, as well as Jen is here as well. And this is my uniform, you know. Uh, I do not wear all this like all the time. Well, the majority of the time I do. I feel that it is a, a simple reminder to towards a modern infrastructure of society of how to balance the sustainability and the vitality and totality and, and uh, importance of nature itself or of how to develop your spiritual path in the journey of consciousness, the awakening that we must all at one point or another experience in order to farther develop or enhance this journey of life in itself. So I've spoken quite enough and I hope that you had enjoyed watching this video and hope that you have been inspired by it as well. We look forward to speaking with you more often. <laughs> I feel as if though this is my 
usual ritual for my hangout spot where I can set up a camera and just kind of like film and speak to the camera, to you guys directly, not to the camera, but you, to the world, to the arms of modern human civilization and the infrastructure of all life that it encompasses all the same together as we bind and bond, unite the, the factors of our unification, of our equality under diversity, of one collective, of one embrace life, liberty, prosperity, happiness, of universal love, kindness, knowledge, and knowledge, prosperity within acceptance and tolerance of all cultures equally. So, namaste, God bless, please subscribe to this inspiration project, and our aspiration, our vision, our goal is to change the world, and that's what we have a passion for. So, thank you everyone for watching as always. See you soon.